As you can see, a brand new one this weekend. The movie Trek is premiering at the LDS Film Festival. So joining us this morning is director Alan Peterson and Arthur Van Wagenen from Excel Entertainment. Thanks for being here this morning, gentlemen. Thanks for having us. Glad yeah. to be here. So I've seen the promos for this. Okay. You know, I've seen the trailer here Good. for Trek. I know it's about, you know, the, the kids are doing the Mormon reenactment of the pioneers. Right. But what's the story about? Well, the story is kind of a universal story. It's about a young man who is dealing with loss, and he's asking himself why God lets bad things happen to good people. Mm -hmm. So that's something that we've all asked ourselves, sure. and we get to watch this young man as he deals with the tragedy in his life, and then how he tries to figure out his faith after that event. So you really get the emotions pulled in here with this story. Yeah. You really get a chance to be able to feel what it's like for this exactly. personal situation. Exactly. But it's also a lot of fun. I mean, the, the writer, David Howard, John Enos, David wrote Galaxy Quest, so there's a great comedy aspect to it. I mean, come on, teenage kids out in the wilderness dressed like <laughs> Of course. Yeah, so there's a lot of fun to it as well. It seems like, Arthur, as you get the script yeah. for this, as your presenter or Alan presents this to you, I'm sure you have a lot of these stories come your way about, hey, let's try this movie or let's try this movie. Yeah. What about this particular <laughs> film stood out to you? I mean, it's interesting. We've been making Mormon films for a long, long time. And, um, and some people might say, you know, yet another Mormon film. And I have to sort of weed through a lot of scripts to kind of figure out, you know, why should we do this one? And I think we're coming into an age in film and, and particularly in cinema where particular groups and communities are telling their stories and they're telling more diverse stories so this one to me I, I appreciated the fact that it tackled a, a kind of unique aspect of Mormon culture head-on which other films have done in the past and even in a, com a comedic way right. but it wasn't apologetic about it. it it felt comfortable saying okay we we know this is weird just because Joseph Smith saw God translate the Book of Mormon now these teenagers kind of dress up every summer and go walking out into the wilderness like that's that's weird but this film and the script just sort of owned that and I think it's important that, that we own our stories, that we keep telling our stories so that they can become more diverse, more broad, less didactic. Um, and I love that this did that. So it had a bold, it was a bold version of this script that really yeah. stood out to you. I like that. It just felt comfortable. Now, will people, when they go to see it in theaters, what will they like about it here, Alan? Well, um, I hope there are a lot of things they like about it, but I hope, number one, they like the characters that they see and the comedy associated with those characters. We had great talent, just phenomenal actors, really, really a wonderful cast, great to work with. And there's, you can see it this week, premiering right. at the LDS Film Festival, but if you can't catch it here this week, how do we catch it? Where do we see it? April 6th, coming to a theater near you. Yeah, so it'll be out in theaters April 6th. All and, right, so uh, you... Very, we really hope that people will get out and see it that weekend. Uh, that, that opening weekend is important for the, the, the opportunity for the film to continue to be seen by people. So get out there and see it right off the bat on April 6th. So you have a chance this week to see what both Arthur and Alan saw in this film coming up this week at the LDS Film Festival. But, but then again, if you can't make it out there, of course, April 6th is the big day there. Of course, we'll have all the information on our website at goodforutah.com linked up there for everything you need to know. Alan, Great. Arthur, thanks for being here this morning. Thanks Good for fun. having us. Appreciate thanks it. Thanks a lot. You betcha. Emily, over to you. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Coming up in the next 30 minutes of Good Morning Utah, college is the perfect time to start planning for your